Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, welcome back to our second gen Dodge build. So, we're back working on the second gen Cummins. Our um, belt issue seems to be resolved. I drove the truck to work today, everything seemed good. That being said, um, when we put the new belt on before, I still had driven it a few days back and forth to work before we had our little belt tensioner issue. So, that being said, we're going to be fixing probably the biggest thing that annoys me with this truck right now and when i go to work in the morning it's a non-issue when i leave work in the afternoon it's a big issue and it's when i say big issue it's just an annoyance a huge annoyance so every day i come out from work after this thing has been sitting in the sun and i come out and i grab a hold of this steering wheel and it is all slimy and just wore out. You end up with black stuff all over your hand. It's just, it's the leather on the steering wheel is just wore out. This is just something that happens over time um, with these leather steering wheels. It's, it's just an annoyance. You know, up here, as you guys can see, I don't know how well you guys can make it out, but it is definitely wore right in this area where your hands would be. It should look more like down here. I don't know if you guys can make that difference out or not, but yeah, the leather's just kind of deteriorating. So it just annoys me. It drives me crazy driving home. Like it, it's just all sticky and like gooey and all that kind of stuff. So that's the issue we're gonna fix today. So this should be a little bit shorter um, episode than normal, but that's good because this is just driving me crazy and I wanna get it done. So to fix this issue, we have to unlock the truck so we can open it. But to fix this issue, we actually went with uh, a product coming from the guys at Gino's Garage. If you guys don't know of Gino's Garage, and this isn't an advertisement, they didn't pay me for this. I didn't get a discount on the part or anything. They're just a great um, company to buy stuff from for these trucks. They have all kinds of stuff. But, you know, I ordered this one little product, got our um, catalog, you know, they got a little sales flyer, all that, but they give you a nice little bumper sticker, you know, we respect the truck, but they got a bunch of these different ones, nice little uh, come and see if, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, I'm not, I'm really not. But anyway, they just have all kinds of little odds and ends for these trucks that you can't get everywhere, like this page right here quick grill release kit um, for a fourth gen so you don't have to unbolt it every time um, just something different that you're not going to see everywhere they might even be the only ones that have this but they have a lot of unique parts a lot of maintenance parts just all kinds of good stuff um, and whenever i've ordered stuff from them i've never had an issue i've always had the product within the next day or two so definitely check out gino's garage if you guys are in need of some parts but how we're going to fix this is we have these wheel skins from Geno's. What this is, is basically a leather cover for the wheel. And I know what you're thinking, Tommy, you know, steering wheel cover anyway. Anywhere. Well, these are nice because they actually are stitched. So you have to put it on here and stitch it yourself. So it gives a nice tight feel to the steering wheel. It won't slip, it won't move, it won't do anything. This is a fantastic product. And I know that from experience. So as you guys know, this is not our only second gen truck. We have our second gen gas truck, Veronica. This truck used to be my daily driver way back in the way, way back in the day. This is my first pickup truck ever, but we went to Gino's garage and got a wheel skin cover for this steering wheel here. So as you guys can see, it's a very fine looking steering wheel cover. It looks great. If you didn't know any better and didn't look real close, you probably would assume this is how it came from the factory. Now on this steering wheel, it didn't get like the grimy and slimy like the second gen Cummins. I actually ended up wearing a hole in the factory steering wheel in the leather up here. So it was just kind of peeling off and all that, but you can't even tell that anymore. It feels great. It looks good. Very happy with this product. That's why we're going with it again on our second gen Cummins. So I'll get this thing open, show you kind of what we got, and then we'll go over how to install it. Like I said, this is a major annoyance of mine. This thing is just grimy and nasty and ugh. So anyway, we'll get this out of the box. So 
So, like I said, it is a very basic kick. Basically, you have your leather cover, which you put over your steering wheel. Now, it does have this one seam in it if you wanted to, so you know um, where center is on your steering wheel. You can always put it in the center, but I tend to put my hand up there, so I choose or chose on our other truck to put it down here, and that's where I'm going to put it again. Basically, you'll stretch this over your steering wheel, and then you have this like wax twine and a needle, and you just kind of stitch it together. Like I said, very straightforward. Um, um, you have your instructions here. Here's how you stitch it. Um, just kind of back and forth, back and forth, and then you tie it. And then when you get to a spoke, you do what they call dummy stitch. And basically you just stitch one side of it so it keeps the corresponding look the whole way through. And then, you know, you just keep it nice and tight to the wheel and it, you don't notice it doesn't get all floppy and all that. So, like I said, very simple, very easy. Um, we're gonna install this and just get rid of this problem because it has been driving me bonkers. So quite a bit of stitching later. Um, it is a little monotonous doing this, but our wheel skin is on. I'm very happy with it, turned out great. Like I said, this is something that just, it kind of looks factory. You don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding like some of them covers. It is a little more work, obviously, than just snapping a cover on there. But to me, this just looks fantastic. Like I said, somebody just glancing in not knowing any better, they're gonna think that is just a fully factory wheel. Um, you know that you didn't have to do anything but now we don't have to have that grimy wheel that we're holding on to so very happy with this like i said very easy just kind of stitch it all the way around until you get to the end here and then you tie a knot um and you just fake dummy stitch it here which as you can see it doesn't make it floppy or anything it uh stays pretty tight just as you go and you pull it through just keep tension on it and you know pull it tight each time you pull it through and it will turn out just fine so very happy with that um yeah so like i said guys probably a shorter video um we're just nailing this one job down and that's because i got it today and i don't want to drive the truck without it because it's just that grime it's it just mm, it's just so irritating you know you get in the truck and it's just sticky and yuck so anyway guys like i said a little bit shorter video but that's how to install a wheel skin you can get them from gino's garage they're like 50 bucks um they're not very expensive but it's definitely a lot easier than kind of putting a new steering wheel on you know between your cruise control buttons and um like the airbag and stuff like that wheel skin a little bit of time very happy with the product like i said i had an experience with it with the blue truck veronica and i'm um, just so happy to get rid of that grimy sticky disgusting wheel so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like it down below subscribe to the channel catch you guys on the next one get out in your garage get the wrench on your truck 